Hey everyone, today we've got a mystery on our hands. So I received this mysterious package. This is what's inside of it. An old TV screen. And then this small box of crystals. Now these are pretty cool crystals. I don't know what they are, what they're made out of. And I'm not sure what this screen is for. Turn on. Let's see if I can find a plug for this. Okay, so I think I have some old cords around here. Let's plug this in. And it looks like a blank white screen. Hmm. Well, that's not very useful. All right, so I don't know what kind of joke this is supposed to be, but this is just a plain white screen. I don't see anything on it. No message, no words. I don't know what this is supposed to be. So I don't know, let's check out these crystals. These look interesting. They have an interesting shape. Well, that's weird. Look at this, when I look through the crystal, I see something on the screen. Okay, so I actually see movement when I hold this up to the screen here. Look at that. That's weird. Whoa, and that looks like a word. It says, to behold its final form, a true me measurement must be made Ordina ordinary or extra extra extraordinary 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 however you want to say it the choice lies with you. Look at this, this is creepy guys. Look through the crystal. <laughs> there you go, you can see it all at once. Let's turn it sideways like that. Okay, so to figure this out, this must have something to do with these crystals. So let's take a closer look at these crystals and see what these are, or what this means. Okay, so the first thing I notice when using these crystals is look what happens when you put it over some words on paper. So look at this, notice how we get a double image. See, the, see that line there? When I put it over it, there's two lines now. Everything's kind of getting doubled. Kind of like double vision here. Let's see, put a dot here. And then look through the crystal and sure enough, that's two dots now. So for some reason, any light that's coming through this is getting doubled or split. Okay, so these crystals for some reason are doubling any image that I see behind it. Now there's one type of crystal that I know of that does this and it's called calcite. So one thing that's interesting about calcite crystals is that the way that the crystal structure is, is it splits light that is polarized differently. For example, light that's polarized vertically relative to how the crystal structure is, it slows down more than light that's polarized horizontally. And so what that results in is a splitting of light. So any light that you have coming in that has both vertical and horizontal polarized light, it splits that light beam. And so that's what's going on when I put some light behind it or show some words behind it, is it's splitting the light that's coming off of those words and it's splitting it into vertically and horizontally polarized light. So the way that I'm going to actually confirm that these are calcite crystals is by using a polarizer 
to see if I can block out one of the double images coming off of this. So let's see if that works. So let's see this crystal here again. You can see that it's doubling all these words. So now let's use this polarizer and see if it's still doing it. Whoa! So look at this line here, how it's doubled under the crystal, but then I put the polarizer there and it's no longer doubled. And depending on how I turn it, I see a different line. So these are calcite crystals. And you can see that using this polarizer, I'm allowing different polarized light to come through. So this is the horizontally polarized light and this is the vertically pol polarized light. <laughs> That's so cool. Whoa, look at this. Okay, so this actually gives me a clue to what this was saying on the screen. So horizontally polarized light and vertically polarized light actually have a different name. Vertically polarized light they call ordinary rays and horizontally polarized light they call extraordinary rays. So remember I was able to choose which light I saw coming through based on how I was orienting my polarizer. So instead of using these calcite crystals on the screen, let me try just using a polarizer and see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Let's try to use my polarizer and see what we find. Whoa. Oh, look at that. What? The Action Lab, that's me my YouTube home page. What is going on? That's so cool. So look at this when I bring it closer to the camera. <laughs> you can see the screen. So I see what this is now. This is the same screen that I made in a previous video where you tear off the polarizers from the computer screen so the light that's coming out of it is no longer polarized. And so what you need to, in order to see the screen is a polarizer. So this was all just a shameless plug to get whoever found this package or this video to subscribe to the Action Lab. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we finally figured out the mystery. Thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, remember to hit the subscribe button so that you don't get a mysterious package like this that you have to figure out. And check out theactionlab.com if you haven't checked out the Action Lab subscription box yet. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.